Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Pat Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. So, so far Bitcoin moving sideways. We talked about the other prior key level down about the 7247 on the spike low, just coming in slightly above that. We're going to update these levels now for in case this horizontal channel does not hold. But it is looking pretty good right now. It's burning off some of its oversold condition. We're keep getting pushing against the rotation zone. If we finally get a pop or a close above the rotation zone, next major area we'll be watching is about this a return to 77.52 to 77.61. This cluster right in there. Then if we get through there, we'll be watching for 78.70. That's key. We came up. We finally made a higher low. We're now looking to also see if it can make a higher high than this high. That'll be key that we might have a temporary bottom at least in. Looking over at the daily, the eight's coming in about 78.23. So that's going to be a key level. What was that other level I just mentioned? Just lining that up on the four hour. So 78.69 to 78.23 is going to be key somewhere in there. That's what you're going to watch for on a stronger rally once we can get above the 77.61 area. If you did pick up anything down here, at least move up your stop at that 77.61, especially with the declining 8 coming into it because we may get another rotation lower again. So it's always better to be safe. On a strong rally, if we can finally get a rally on, the next major area would be 8,054. Then we'd watch about 8,200. Now, if this doesn't, if this keeps moving sideways, the 8 comes down and pushes price lower. Then all bets are off again. That's why we're being very cautious. Then we'd be watching for uh, 78.07 if it breaks new lows and 69.18 major cluster there. So that's what we're watching for in Bitcoin. Checking in on Ethereum. Ethereum spiking down just below our 544 level. We can update these lower due to the long horizontal channel pattern. So we're going to update all our levels down in case this does not hold. But this Ethereum is looking a bit stronger. So... We have now made a higher high and a higher swing low. I want to see us again, again, this, if we get above the 615 level, that'll put us above the rotation zone on the four hour, which is really good. We're holding, this is a nice pincing pattern. Hopefully it will break up. That's what we're watching for. Then it'll return to 615, then 625. And I'll show you why that's important on the daily chart. And then 635. That's important on the four hour chart. We have the declining 50 coming in with that 25% projected GAN level. This does have more strengths as it is making a higher high and a higher low. We just want another higher high in here. Let me switch over to daily chart to show you why that first level is important. That's right where the declining eight is coming in. So at 625, if you did buy something, you're going to definitely want to move up a stop at that level. And then if we do get through to 634 level, I'm going to be working watching for a return to 652 to 659 so we have the the 50 a prior gain level and the 21 all come in that cluster so that's a great area to part take some partial profits and it was a prior uh breakdown zone so it's support support now that's going to be resistance so people who tried to buy in here might try to unload some there now if the 8 comes down and price breaks again lower and we retest the 538 level, 539 level, and that does not hold, then we'll watch for 516, then 501 to 493, next key levels lower. So quick Ethereum and Bitcoin update, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.